And welcome back, Idiot Squared viewers. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, this episode is going to be about conspiracy theories. Are we controlled by aliens? Are aliens controlling politicians, people of power? We don't know, but in this episode, we're going to take a deep dive and have a look. So, uh, Polska, how are you going this week? Do a good guy. I'm pumped for this topic. Um, I could go either way with this shit, dude. Like... If there's proof that aliens are controlling shit, I'm I'm down, man. Like I I I get it, and I don't even think that I would be like that surprised. I would just be, oh yeah, makes makes sense to me. You know what I mean? And I think <laughs> most people would easily accept it at this point. What do you think? Uh, I think there's a a group of people that would definitely love to be like, I told you so. Um, but I think for the majority of people, it might be a bit of a shock. Um, that's just sort of my gut feeling, but, um, yeah, I'm sure that there's a, a, a decent percentage of people that would just be like, yes, I freaking told you so. Um, <laughs> especially all those, all those people that have been abducted and anally probed. I feel like they would, they would be justified. They would, they would have some closure for once maybe. Um, okay. So to, to hit it off, uh, I was sent this video by somebody, um, who reckons that this is proof that, uh, either some politicians are aliens or that they have handlers and that they're controlled by aliens. The guy's name is Mitch McConnell. And Mitch uh, McConnell. he was giving a speech. I think it's at the White House or somewhere. And okay. um, and then Not sure who that this is. lady just, he's the head of something. We can do a bit of background on him in a second. Anyway, so okay. um, he... He's doing this speech. Somebody asks him a question. And then this lady comes out of, out of behind the scenes, touches him on, a, on the elbow, and he just freezes. Like completely freezes. Looks like she just pressed the pause button on him. And then the people around him, the reactions are very strange. So here's the video. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA. Uh, All right. This week has been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of. Uh, See how he just freezes? Now they're all looking at him weirdly. He's What's like. He doing? He's completely stunned. Absolutely blown <laughs> the fuck away. Yo, at this point, he must be like, yo, can I please teleport the fuck out of here? And can everyone just like forget about what just happened? Like, can we rewind? Can I have a retake? Can someone say cut? Yes, say like he is desperately looking at something, right? Or I don't know. I feel like he kind of just goes blank. Like I feel like yeah. she pressed the pause button. Yeah. And then like yeah. every, uh, let's just watch it again one more time, right? So the there's NBA, this guy in the background. You watch him here next to the guy in the red tie on the right of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talks to this lady. And a oh, he, so he talks to her first, and then she comes over. Yeah. Look, oh, now she comes oh, across, okay, okay. touches him, bang. Yeah. He just pauses. Okay. But what does, does she say anything to him? All right, let's go back. Like, do, do you see her lips moving or is it just a touch? She's saying something. Yeah. But it looks like she's talking to this guy in the back. Yeah, I can't see, I can't fucking see, like it's so goddamn choppy. I wouldn't be able to tell if she's moving her lips, guys. You have to tell me what, what you're seeing because I can't fucking see it. But, yeah, so she moves her lips. Hold on, let's yeah. uh, let's get rid of this screen share. Hopefully, it's going to be better in post. Stop. All right. So, um, yeah, she she comes out of the back. One of the guys, the guy standing to his behind him to his left, yeah, uh, or to the left of the screen, says something to this lady. She walks across. She's saying something, and then touches his arm in this odd way, and he kind of freezes. And she sort of taps it again, and he fully freezes. And then no one really does anything, which huh. uh, seems kind of odd to me. But at the same time, maybe he does this all the time. So they're just kind of used to him pausing. But the person who sent me this video reckons that this is proof that they're aliens or he's an alien. And so, uh, yeah, go. Okay. Okay. Like, let's just, let's just go. Sorry, guy. Let's just go step by step for a second here. So. The guy comes around and lets her know, yo, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's something serious. It's something important because she wouldn't 
normally interrupt if it's not something extremely important because most things could probably wait until after, right? He's not going to be there all day. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, I, yeah. So it's like, yo, like something's going on right now and you need to shut this down and we need to go or like, yeah, it, yeah. I'm just saying it's something like extremely important. So what could be that important that she would interrupt what's going on to let him know ab about this news? You know what I mean? Like, what could it be? Well, I think it could be a lot of things. That's the, <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever come to the, uh, come to a conclusion on that answer. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's just incredibly odd, right? Like, um, yeah. Maybe something's happening and they need to get him out of there, right? Like maybe there's some sort yeah. of thing going on like that. Or maybe he's about, he got asked a question that they don't want to provide an answer to, potentially. Um, okay. But like, oh, yeah, like, I don't know. Oh. It just seems odd, right? Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, it could be, because I was thinking, no, it must be because they're trying to get him out of there. They're letting him know like, yo, like we got to bounce. But what you said, it could be true that they don't want him answering a specific question. Or maybe he went too far in his answering. And they're like, they shut it down. Like, yo, you can't say anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good call. So, yeah, I'm just going to share again. And right. um, hopefully you can hear it this time. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA uh, this week. It's been good bipartisan cooperation. About to finish NDA, NDA this week. String of, uh, and a string of... Uh, Okay, so finishing what NDA? What NDA is he referring to? Do you know? Um, it's NDAA, and I don't. I'm just googling it now. Um, and she doesn't say of, very much. Uh, uh, no. Okay, NDA, and like look, let's look at the time uh, where he speaks to her as well. Let's see how fast that takes. Okay, it's it's a, a second. A he says a couple of, of words, uh, uh, and she says only a couple. She says like three or four words, dude. She says yeah, three or breath. four words like, yo, like, let's fucking go. Like, what the, you know what I mean? Let's fuck. So well, what she's up. saying to him. Shut up, Mitch. Yeah. Shut up, Mitch. She's telling him to shut the fuck up or let's fucking go. Right? Are you good? Yeah. This is, okay, this is kind of, but like, is it's his age. It's odd. Do you want to say, anything, want to say else? anything else? What is that guy trying? What is that guy doing? Tell him, ask him, do you want to say anything else? Well, like, see how they're all holding him? Yeah. Seems strange. Okay, so the NDAA is the National Defense Author Authorization Act. Could you address what happened here at the start of the Sorry, he comes back, eh? Was it related to your yeah. injury from earlier this year where you suffered a concussion? Is that... Do you... Okay, sorry, we're sorry to interrupt. To um, to no, you keep going. Do you think... His age has anything to do with it. I, I mean, I've had moments where I was like, yo, like, what the fuck? But not, obviously not that long. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so could his age be like, you know, a factor in that? Oh, I, I think so. Yes. He doesn't look like the picture of health to me. Like he looks, he looks unwell. Um, he doesn't look like he's thriving. He looks like he could use a little bit of sun exposure in my opinion. Um, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe some protein. Um, but yeah, um, he did have a fall and and get a concussion. Okay. So something happened there as well. And apparently, okay. like, they're trying to get him to step down, but he's refusing to step down. Okay. So I think age definitely is a role. Now, like, I think we, like, there's probably a good amount of, like, what we might call logical or rational sort of um, explanations that would fit the bill here. But the reason why this was intriguing to me is because somebody sent it to me in regards to aliens. And I was like, aliens? What? Okay. Aliens. So she says to him, yo, the aliens are here. And he's like, fuck, they came sooner than I thought. And he's stunned. Or, <laughs> or she's an alien and she controls him. And those people around him are aliens. Apparently that's, that's a conspiracy theory that's getting around right now. Oh, is that he's handled by aliens, right? He has handlers, and those like handlers that. are aliens. They and apparently, look this like is like handlers. pretty deep. Yeah, but I, guy, do we want to discuss this and get and potentially get disappeared, or or like we, I don't know if we want to get visited by those 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 men that wear lots of black and stuff. Dude, if if those if the men in black, yo, if if they come, guy, I'll just be like, yo, like 
let me join. I'm down. Whatever you guys are fucking doing, I'm in. Let's do this. They're there. They're here anyway. So fucking let's go. And you can do the same and we'll work together, guy. Right? With the aliens. <laughs> Fuck it. Agent P and Agent R. I think we'd be good at it, dude. And when we come together, we're I squared. There you go, guy. Imagine two <laughs> idiots working for the aliens, bro. Like, that's the piece that they're missing, I think, guy. They need two fucking idiots on the team. Okay, so... <laughs> okay. What do you think their grand plan is? Uh, Their grand plan, eh? Okay? <laughs> By the way, they did look like handlers didn't they they all kind of you know she she's the one that let him know to stop or whatever and then the other guy do you want to say anything else then they took him to the side then he went back so it definitely looks like you know i mean well i guess that's not true because your buddies would be helping you out in that situation or people you work yeah. with would be helping you out so i can't really say that no i tend to agree with you right however yeah. don't you it, to me it seems quite odd the way they're touching him like, he's got a lot of hands on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's... Yeah, like, there's that's mad true. hands that come and, and touch him. But it's so <laughs> odd that, like, it, the, it... Yeah, obviously, it could just be a coincidence, which is probably yeah. what it is, right? But, like, she just touches him on the elbow. It's like, it's literally like he has a pause button. <laughs> she just, like, bang, pause. Like, is he, an, is he like, from that one of those aliens from the Men in Black? He's, like, a tiny little alien driving a robot suit, body. <laughs> There's like electrodes passing from her fingers into his arm, shutting him off for a split second there. Is that what you mean, guy? Or he literally has like a button on his elbow that <laughs> just is like pause. Yeah, fuck. Yo, someone should try, guys. Someone should try to get close to Mitch Connell and then touch his uh, elbow over there. See if there's a just button. Just pause him. Yeah, yeah. See if it works. Mad good hack. That's hilarious. Okay, Aliens master plan, guy. Fuck, that's like... That's one of those questions that we could go anywhere with this, man. I mean, I don't know, dude. Because we can't say, oh, they want to be in control. They're already in control. Like that's, you know, if they're, if they're here and they're disguised as humans, right? They're already in control. So it's not that. Yeah. Or maybe so they're fighting for control. A lot of it doesn't make any sense to me, right? But I yeah. was just like, Got sent the video, followed a bunch of other sort of things. And I was like, wow, there's a lot of people like, well, there is some people claiming that this is the case. And then you can, you can read a bunch of stuff and you can sort of get like, yeah, like, oh, wow. Some people make big leaps here. But the reason I, I, I brought this up this week is because we previously discussed, you know, some alien stuff, some people coming out saying about alien tech, then we went through that tweet where the guy was like, you know, the government's about to do this operation blue beam or blue men or whatever, or blue people, um, releasing information about aliens. And it just seems to be like a very hot topic at the moment. And I don't know if it's a psyop or if it's a real thing. I know it's hard. It's hard to tell. Right. And because of all the shit that's going on, people are quickly to blame things. Oh, it's aliens. Oh, it's aliens. It's easier to think that now it's easier to just say, that he has alien handlers, for example. It's easier to create that conspiracy because of, yeah, just because of all the shit that has been um, coming out lately. And you always hear this question, like, why now, right? But, like, I don't know. Like, why the fuck has anything happened ever? It just, just it's, I think it's just happening when when it's supposed to happen, when it's happening. I don't know. Like, I'm not saying that there's a destiny yeah, no. per se, but... Where people say why now? Well, I don't. I don't really see that as like a really. I don't know, like I don't think that was planned. You, I think that it just well, sort of started happening. Maybe that wanted to stay in the shadows, but because of AI and the development of these uh, algorithms that you know are able to sort of take arbitrary data and learn patterns in that arbitrary data, or you know, yeah, artificial intelligence, machine learning then uh maybe they're like oh shit these 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 humans are about to like you know get onto something big we've got to step in and like you know put a new control mechanism in place because our they might get a bit too powerful or they might they might find out that 
there's this whole new way to view the universe and like unlock themselves instead of staying in this little trap. Like maybe we've been trapped for a long time and we're getting to the point where we're going to untrap. I have no idea. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it, but I just saw it. Yeah. Hella interesting. You think maybe we got past this point before and now we're coming, well, not like in the same way, but it's possible that previous civilizations have gotten to that unlocking part with, with, with the aliens yeah, and then maybe because of that, you know, I mean, I understand like the younger drives period and when, um, what's his name? I always forget his fucking name. Graham Hancock. Yeah. That they blame it on, you know, comets Just and shit. Just think about hand cock. Yeah. Hand and cock. Cock. Yeah. yeah. Too easy words for you to remember. They go, they match perfectly. They, they, they generally fit each other quite well. <laughs> I'm just fucking terrible at names, guy. But you, you know what I mean, though? Like there's, there's that, there's like a sort of scientific explanation, but who's to say that that is uh, what happened? Maybe. Yeah, no, exactly. You can have many different explanations. Um, so I just found a picture of this guy. Uh, there's a Reddit thread. What's going on with Mitch McConnell's hands? which is odd, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to share my screen for a second. This guy, he, he looks like if, if, you know, like, uh, okay, we're going to get back to Men in Black. You know, in Men in Black, um, there's that alien that crashes from the spaceship and where, and goes to that guy's, crashes near this guy's house and the guy's like a real dickhead to his wife and he goes out with a shotgun and then the alien like starts to wear him. Vaguely. Like wears him as a bodysuit. Vaguely, okay. vaguely. This guy kind of looks like that. Is that an alien wearing a human bodysuit? <laughs> Yo, I mean, if we if we are just going by this picture, one hundred percent, that skin looks put on something. I yeah. mean, look at look at around his like neck area here as well, right? It looks like part of the original alien's head, and they're like, "Well, we can't cut that off, so we're just gonna have to." You know, fucking put the skin over it. But people are going to know it's not, uh, fuck it. People are stupid. It'll be good to go. Like, if we just cover this part here with the skin, <laughs> no worries. It's good I to go. I can imagine that reasoning. Yeah. So people are saying there's something wrong with his hands. His lips are perfectly <laughs> normal after kissing the devil. <laughs> um, Yo, Mitch, Mitch McConnell just doesn't look very healthy and he, he's just kind of ugly. I think that's that's what it is, man. Or... Or he is a legit an alien wearing a skin suit guy. I like that one better, actually. Let's go with that one, Roops. Fucking he's... alien took over this guy's body. Like, the alien didn't even... Or no, wait. Maybe he's just... Maybe the whole body... Maybe he didn't take over anyone's body. Maybe he's just like a legit skin suit that they created. Yeah. No, I agree. Okay, read, can you read this one from Slow Hoax? Uh, Mitch has been practicing hillbilly necromancy for the last 120 years. He started young, reanimating squirrels in the Holla? Yeah, in the holla. Are there any young pictures of this guy online? Can we can we see we'll get one in a sec? Like... So... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one sec. I'll just um he he yeah holla behind the grandma's shed back when they had running water. Over the years, he learned more and more of her blood magic. Now Mitch is more corpse than man, <laughs> but he has total control over the decomposition of his body. Thanks to the dark incarnations he utters every night as Elaine hoses down his scaly body with the blood of newborn possums mixed with moonshine and Windex. What the fuck? He also has help from the reptilians. See, like, there's just all this. Like, yeah, you know, obviously, that's just ridiculous. But there's that was just so many of these comment. conspiracies. I know, people went through so much effort. Dude, the internet's so fucking funny, man. It's crazy. People are so funny. So. Mitch McConnell. Is it possible we could find a picture of him when he was younger? I'm curious what he looked like 20 years ago. If that's even. Dun, 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 dun. If if we'd be able, like, I don't even know. Man, even when he was young, he looks mad old. It, really? I can't see the picture yet. Okay. Something was loading. 
See it? Hella grainy. Yeah, okay. All right. So there's proof that... Still looks kind of freaky. You know what would be really interesting? If, if the alien... If this was an alien the whole time and they figured out a way how to make the skin suit age over time. So people would just yeah. like be buying it. Well, it appears it. like it has aged, guy. <laughs> Yo, you know what I mean though? Like they like they have <laughs> yeah, like technologically they're mean. able to make the, the skin suit age. Yeah. Well, according to them, it looks like it's rotting. He's mad old. <laughs> yeah, they well, it's not it's not perfect, guy. Like they, they could get as close as they could to like real skin as possible, and that's why you see this rotting effect. That's what alien um generated skin looks like guy when it ages doesn't look right does the skin look normal so, when he's young though well okay let's go have a look Mitch McConnell young I don't know the only picture that's like of him when he's really young is like heaps grainy there's yeah. just not a lot of pictures on him well that's just uh proof more proof to what we're saying then guy <laughs> so um, have you seen or heard of any of these kinds of things before about like the, yeah, obviously you've heard about the alien stuff, but have you, um, have you come across mm -hmm. any others? Like any other stories about aliens controlling shit? Yeah. Besides men in black, obviously we went no. through the stuff on the last pod. No, not, no, not really dude. Like what I've been hearing mostly <laughs> is that the government is utilizing alien technology to sort of, you know, do their, whatever they're trying to fucking do with it. Um, and that I've also heard that, yeah, like aliens have been here. There's, there's evidence of, of that as well. But as far as like aliens running the show, I haven't really, you know, I, I can't say I have seen any, anything compelling. You know what I mean? To, or no, not yeah, anything at same. all, really, actually. Like I said, just mostly the aliens have been here and people have seen them and shit and, and they look different and they're obviously much more technologically advanced than us. Whether or not they're actually from outer space or they're um, from another dimension, right? If they're just like traveling interdimensionally, uh, that could be a possibility as well. If they're actually us from the past and they've learned how to travel interdimensionally and they've, you know, and the sightings that people have seen of them, they, they describe them like they look gray, their eyes are bigger and shit, like their heads are bigger, they're smaller. That could just be like natural human evolution based on the environment, right? So if, if they have like a much different environment now, like a much more technologically advanced environment, this could just be like the natural progression of, of a human um, evolution. And that's what people are seeing. In, in that environment. Yeah. So, yeah. so when people see them, they're like, yo, it's a fucking alien, but no, it, it, no, it's actually human. Just, you know, yeah. so many generations, generations of evolution that's occurred. Yeah. I think that's all plausible. Um, yeah. but okay. So you, you, you mentioned that you watch these videos about like these guys about zero point energy and alien tech and like yeah. shuttles that just levitate and then zoom off, et cetera. Like, okay. So that's got to come from somewhere. Right. So. You know, is it ultra advanced technology that we've always had? Is it alien technology? Has it come from somewhere else or a different way of viewing things? Um, and are those organizations, are those, you know, those so-called men in black that you, that you were talking about that were in that forest, are they, um, are they controlled or are they part of, uh, humans that have control at, at a high level or is it aliens that have control of the humans? At a high level. Fuck. All right. Let's start with that they are being controlled by aliens because let's think, let's think about how some of these companies could have gotten to the level that they're at, right? To be above the government, to be above the law in the sense that they're doing things behind the scenes that not even the government is aware about, right? So some of the companies were Raytheon, um, um, Skunk Works. Uh, there's another one, big one. Fuck. It's slipping my mind right now, but there's like three big ones. DARPA, DARPA is another one, but there's a there's a there's another one that's like uh, bigger. Anyways, Lockheed Martin. Yeah, that's it. Fuck, good job, guy. Yeah, that's the one. So <laughs> these companies are huge. They're insane. They have lots of power. 
they're really doing shit behind the scenes, then how did they get to that point where they have this like escape velocity that they're above the law? One answer could be that, well, aliens, right? An alien could easily do that. An alien could, you know, with the technology that they have, they could organize, especially if they were to, able to imitate uh, human humans in, in a way, um, or they wouldn't even have to, right? They could just control certain people, move certain people. I mean, I think it would just be e very easy for them because they're much smarter, much more advanced than us to sort of know exactly how, like which string to pull to achieve things in a way that they have in order to have these large companies doing these things be behind the scenes. I mean, that could be a possibility, right? Yeah, no, I agree. So um, how did they achieve this escape velocity? Well, they've had great funding and they've got a lot of talent to work on these things. So they could have, they could have developed these things just through the, the progression of technology without any alien tech, right? But if they were aliens, then like, yeah, it's probably easier to control a select few than it is to control everybody. Um, and the way that the systems tend to work is like, if you control a select few at a high enough level, then essentially you indirectly control everybody. Is that kind of, you know what I mean? Like yeah, if you exactly. control these key people, well, then you can control what the, the, the direction of, of progress, so to speak, or, or yeah. the way that life, um, you know unfolds on the planet to a degree, right? Obviously it's not going to be perfect, but like, you know, if you control key people in government, well, then you control what laws get passed, what laws don't get passed, where money goes, blah, 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 blah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But there's, there's one hole in this argument now. I just realized because the, by the way, that guy's name is Michael Herrera, I think the guy, the whistleblower that had that experience in the, in Indonesia with the, the spaceship that you were referring to with the men in black. Yeah. So what he saw the uh the ship that was there um floating is that it had parts that he could recognize it wasn't all alien technology but it was also mixed with like human technology and i remember listening to a podcast on the uh, shot ryan show with dr russell greer no russell greer fuck i just damn if anyone Michael knows who greer. russell greer is you guys are they're gonna find that not funny um steven greer yeah Steven Greer. Okay, yeah. And he, he explains that you can tell the difference between an alien ship and um one that's mixed with like human like hu like humans made, like with human technology. Because the alien one, it's it's clean. It, like it has like just this one one solid um finish on it with no with no like external like machinery or anything. Whereas the human made ones, they have like, you know, like shit you would recognize. Not all of it, but parts of it at the bottom, you would say. And that's what Michael had had said that he saw was some of that machinery, right? So, so why, it's a hybrid. Yeah. So if, if aliens were running the show, why would they be, you know, getting people to create hybrid ships and not just the original ones or just use the original ones? Yeah, good question. I don't know. I don't know, guy. But I have found some interesting TikToks that we could uh, potentially look at. Uh, are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A alien conspiracy page, guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, where I mean, else yeah, are we going to go? It, yeah, exactly. It makes sense. Like, All right. Let's listen to this. Hi, government officials disclosing extraterrestrials. Paul Hellier. Paul Hellier, former Minister of Defense of Canada, and, and he believes that life forms from space exist and are present on Earth. Why do you say that UFOs are as real as the airplanes flying over our heads? Well, because I know that they are. And they've been, um, as a matter of fact, um, they've been visiting our planet for thousands of years. And one of the cases that would interest you most, if you'll give me two or three minutes to answer, is uh, during the Cold War, 1961, there were about 50 UFOs in formation flying south from Russia to the, across Europe. And the uh, Supreme Allied Commander was very concerned um, and about ready to press the panic button when they turned around and went back over the North Pole. So they decided to do an investigation and they investigated for three years and they decided that um, with absolute certainty that four species, four different species at least, had been visiting this planet for thousands of years. So that's, uh, we have a long history of UFOs and of course there's been a lot more activity in the last uh, few decades since uh, uh, we invented the atomic bomb and they're very concerned about uh, about that and the fact that uh, we might use it again and because the whole cosmos is a unity 
and it affects not just us but other people in the cosmos. They're very much afraid that we might be stupid enough to uh, start using atomic weapons again, and this would be very bad for us and for them as well. Holy smokes. He's Canadian guy. I, I, yeah, there's a lot to do. Do you know him? There. No, I have, I have no idea who he is, but it's exactly what Dr. Um, Stephen Greer says is that they came since the atomic bombs and, you know, they're trying to put a stop to that because it's a, it's not only affecting us, but them as well. When you send these, like, yeah, these magnetic pulses into the cosmos and it fucks with aliens shit. So, well, look. Everything is connected in some way because we exist in this in this thing together in a yeah. sense. So, yeah, I kind of get like I get that. I don't know how to what level you, you know what I mean. I don't know to what degree it sort of happens. All right, let's uh, let's explore some more. There's a lady. This is why I she doesn't think aliens have come. Scroll down just a little bit. Sorry, guys. There's there's, there's one more thing that happened. In that sorry. There's there's one more thing that right, happened in there that was important. Oh, uh, what was it? Um, when they showed the um Egyptian. Uh, whatever the the artwork or whatever there the, hieroglyphs. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You always see like alien shit in those hieroglyphs. Yeah, always right. And even in like our old artwork, you see alien shit. So that's interesting. Like, there's many no, depictions of aliens throughout throughout history. So, and those hieroglyphs are like what four thousand years old. Yeah, it's some some older. Yeah, I mean, so how long have, have aliens been here? Have they shared technology with us in the past? Right? Have they interbred with people? Have they interbred with people? Yeah. Because we could be a hybrid alien species, probably, you know. Where they might have had sex with monkeys. <laughs> yeah, imagine the first one. All right, like we're going to try to make a hybrid species here. And they're going through like the list of animals that uh, they want to hybrid with. And and the one they choose is the one that throws fucking shit at other monkeys, dude. <laughs> like, yo, that one over there that's throwing sh his own shit at the other monkey, yo, we got to breathe with this motherfucker because this is going to make a fun-ass world. Can you imagine the fucking hybrids <laughs> we're going to get with these fucking crazy critters? <laughs> yeah. Or, or maybe they tried with like uh, reptiles first and then end up with dinosaurs. And they're like, oh, shit. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, true. True. Like the, they, they were anyway. some sort of genetic mutation where the, the, the um, dinosaurs are growing like uncontrollably large. Like, oh, fuck. Like we, well, we really apparently, fucked up. Apparently, that's because there was a lot of nitrogen in the atmosphere back in the day. So it was just easier for shit to get big. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay, so let's 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 explore this some more. So this chick reckons that the video she's going to show us is actually going to blow our minds. What I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind. Humans have actively been trying to get into contact with aliens, but despite our best efforts, it would be very hard for aliens to find us. The very first radio transmission was in the 1890s, but those radio signals were too weak to make it far in space, let alone be understood by aliens. Much later, we actually tried to contact aliens. We sent out this radio message with information about humans and Earth. They sent that message out in 1974, and they sent it to this star cluster. This star cluster is 22,000 light years away. So it will take that very simple message over 22,000 years to get here. In 2008, NASA beamed the Beatles song across the universe into deep space. But ignoring all of those recent attempts, even if those what? very first radio signals over 100 years ago were powerful enough and clear enough to alert aliens that we exist, this is how far those radio signals would have traveled. I'm not talking about the black box. I'm talking about that tiny little blue dot. That's how far evidence of humans has gone in our galaxy. There's just no way they know we exist. Boring. Um, what the Yeah, fuck? unless they were already here. Yeah, she's lame. All right, yeah, that next, was... let's keep, kill that. Let's go back to the, uh, the, the actual conspiracy page where there's... She's believable content, at least. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah, they're not going to travel, like, in a line from where they are to here. That's not how the technology works, guy. They're going to make a jump. It's going to be instant instantaneously. Or they're going to come from another dimension. It's not going to be like, yo, they're going to get on a ship and, all right, let's go the speed of life for fucking 22,000 years till we get there. Negative, guy. They have a way of... Um, it's like teleporting, right? You when you when you bend the space, what's it called? 
basically you you find like a hole so you can get Warp from drive. What's that? They go through a wormhole. Yeah, exactly, and that's like pretty much instantaneous, right? I mean, there's little. Well, little they time. could also have completely different physics to us. So, like, yeah, it, it, yeah, it's all up in the air, really. But like, what if they co-evolved in, like, around in our solar system? What if they co-evolved near, near Earth or on Earth? You know what I mean? Who's to say? Like, we used to think that humans were only a certain, um, you know, so, so many thousand years old, right? And then. Uh, you know, God, God created everybody in seven days. Remember that? And then we find like, oh, wait, hold up. There's evidence of people way before that story came about. Um, you got Quebec Latepe, you got all these things that prove that humans have had, um, advancements before we really thought that they did, you know, like we can show that they, they had levels of sophistication that we didn't know about before. It's like, oh, wow, that, that challenges our viewpoint. Okay. So maybe we've been around for longer. Maybe there's been multiple iterations of different people. You know what I mean? Like, um, I, yeah, I can imagine stuff like that. All right, let's go. Next video. They are here. They are real. Yep. Go on. Click it. I dare you. Aliens are actually monitoring us. Alien sightings have been fairly common and commonly written off. However, if you notice the trend in which sightings increase, it's usually during war periods where there's a threat of nuclear war. There was a spike in UFO sightings when World War II was ongoing. And recently with the war in Ukraine, the UFO sightings have spiked again. There's a theory that the reason for the increased UFO sightings is that the aliens are monitoring us. Because a nuclear war is not just bad for our planet, but bad for theirs as well. Upon the threat of a nuclear war, the aliens will descend to assess the threat of their own planets. That's why theorists believe that the <laughs> yeah see I, I i like that one i like that one that's like yeah, it's not bad not bad but that's like coinciding with um a lot what a, a lot of people are saying right now is that's been no, since the atomic bomb era yo i was just thinking guy like if if they're uh, mon monitoring us and assessing you know the risk why don't they just take out the fucking people responsible for this war or like the nuclear technology. Why well, just like just take it all out themselves? Maybe aliens are more like us than we realize. And there's different factions. Like they got the the Republicans and the Democrats. Or they got the left and the right. Or oh. the aliens, you know. And maybe there's factions of aliens that are like, no, fuck that. Like, let's let's do that shit. Because then we'll get control or something like that. And then there's other ones that are like, no, we need peace, man. Um, they're like, yeah, maybe. Like maybe good and evil is like, you know. It exists among all of them. I would like to. I would like to think that a sufficiently intelligent and advanced civilization or entity or observer in the universe would realize that we're all just the universe, um, and then that would kind of like dissolve. But maybe it's like this. Uh, maybe it's just like a a thing that's always going to exist. The balance between you know good and evil, or um, light and dark, or chaos and order. Da 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 da. Maybe you need to maintain a balance between the two. Maybe you can't just have complete order. You can't just have complete chaos. There has to be a balance between the two. So you always sort of need that, that tension. You make a good point because if there are other factions, they would be making decisions that to us might seem like irrational, just like what's happening on Earth. Because it seems just rational yeah. that the aliens would decide, all right, this is going to affect all of us. Let's make sure the humans don't detonate these bombs and let's just fucking just take it from them. Just literally come down, take the bombs, peace out and say, fuck you. If you guys fuck around some more, then like we'll kill you another way. Or I don't know, or, or, or just take them or just, I don't know, or find a way to, to, to solve or just try and make things more, more peaceful. But then, but there is holes in that as well, because that's like doing it with force and that's not very, maybe that's against their, uh, yeah. against their religion. That's true. Their right? beliefs. Or against the global order. Maybe they, yeah. if they do that, then it's doomed to fail anyway. Oh, right. Who knows, guy? Uh, okay, what the, is the uncanny valley effect? I don't know, Just that just looked interesting. The definition of the uncanny valley effect is in aesthetics. The uncanny valley is a hypothesized relation between an object's degree of resemblance to a human being and the emotional response <laughs> to the object. In simpler terms, if something looks extremely similar to a human, our senses can still determine that it's not. 
and our nervous system almost instinctually reacts with a fear response. This would have to be an evolved function for some reason, as the fear response is a survival mechanism. Could this mean that at some point, humans were not at the top of the food chain and had a predator that was capable of mimicry or shapeshifting? Indie game developer David Szymanski tweets, One of the most frightening things I've ever heard is when someone pointed out that the existence of the uncanny valley implies that at some point there was an evolutionary reason to be afraid of something that looked human, but Ooh. wasn't. The modern definition of the uncanny valley effect seems to refer heavily to AI and robotic imposters, but that is only a modern application of our fear response. The Outsider by Stephen King does a frightful job of imagining how a predator like this could function. With the grief eater feeding on the grief surrounding a family after losing a loved oh, one, using some sort of shape-shifting or mimicry ability to take someone's form before committing a heinous crime, causing confusion, suspicion, paranoia, and desperation with the goal seeming to be a total family annihilation. The grief eater showcases a similar intelligence level and consciousness to its human counterpart, but has lived so long it doesn't even know when it was born, what it is, or how many of it there are, only that there are more, and he himself is a rather ravenous wild one and that the need to feed drives his existence, insinuating that more controlled, assimilated, and even organized grief eaters could be living among the populace of the civilized world. So why do we fear the uncanny valley effect? Interesting. Well, fuck, that one gave why does he keep showing pictures of the, the royals? Alright. Yeah, that's what I was laughing at because it just shows Prince. Is it Prince Harry? Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I've got, what's, I know that her name is Megan. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Megan. Yeah. From, that's um, all I know. She was from, what was that show about lawyers? Suits. Yeah. That's the one. Um, okay. So just some, an update real quick on the 800 year old mobile phone. It isn't actually an 800 year old mobile phone. It was an artwork created in 2012 to look like an 800 year old mobile phone. And then people have turned that into a series of conspiracies. <laughs> uh, sorry, just go back to the uncanny effect. So it's basically that effect is when, when something resembles a human, but humans know that it's not human. So they're fearful of it. Yeah. Yeah. So are they trying to imply that Prince Harry is, is that he's just resembling a human or that's why people eked out by him? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he isn't really human if you think about it, because he was born into a royal family. You would be missing, there would be parts of your, um, of your personality that would be different growing well, up in that environment. Still human. Well, yeah, but if he's born by humans and yeah, and he shares the same genome, then still, so he's like, he might be, um, not like your average human in terms of like set and setting. Yeah. Arguably, if he's part of the Royal family, he's, he's more human than, than the other humans. Cause they inbred a lot, right? <laughs> that's mad funny. Yeah, that's true. That's mad funny. That would uh, kind of freak me out. Okay. Guy. But yeah, show me this. Right. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I got a little bit um, goosebumpy. I gotta. Yeah. Uh, I want to look at that more later. All right, let's go. Keep go. Let's rapid fire a couple more, and then we can we can wrap this ridiculous exploration of of things that we can't really ever come to a definitive answer or conclusion about. Okay, I have to see this. Even seeing isn't believing. Lord Taman, um, aliens are real. U.S. Congress confirms. You want to see this one, or have you seen enough of that shit? No, no, let's get scoop that one. And then I want to see the International Space Station films a fleet of hundreds of UFOs heading towards Earth. What? Guys, are you ready for Project Bluebeam? If you're not aware of Project Bluebeam, you need to research it, guys, because what they are going to do is they are planning a fake alien invasion. And what they will do off the back of that is they will shoehorn everyone into line. There will be more rules and regulations more tyranny imposed under the guise of safety because we know that they always provide the solutions to the problems just look at covid what did, what happened they provided the uh, the poison dart for everyone how kind of them same thing's going to happen again with this and the space station is fake anyway it's filmed underwater and then they overlay it with cgi so it makes it look like people are floating 
it's all a movie, it's all a show, and this alien stuff that's being pushed on us right now is part of Bluebeam. He had me until the end there. The last thing he said, I think was kind of... Okay, but have you... Okay, so look, I, I tend to agree, right? But there's also weird shit. Like, have you seen some of the videos where it looks like they're really being held up by ropes? No, I haven't I haven't looked too much into that, but um, like... Like everything in space is fake. Like, is he saying that all of the space quests that we've that we've done to put up sil- satellites up there to repair shit and and the space stations I, and all all that maintenance? All that I don't know if shit. he's saying if it's all fake, but he he say he was definitely saying that the International Space Station is fake. Oh, okay, okay, that specifically. But I mean, like, yeah, I don't even know. I mean, if I think we can get the space, right? And we do have well, things I, in space. We have satellites up there. Well, yes. I well, I, I've observed them. Whether or not they're real or not, I don't know yeah. yet because I've never like you know. How can you tell about anything really? Oh, we uh, yeah, go down I know you can It's true. We can't really confirm because <laughs> we're, it's just shit that we're being shown. That's true. Okay, but those videos, everything though, like, is. Yeah, yeah, but like those those videos, maybe they they weren't filmed in space, but that doesn't mean that. Um, we have that we don't have uh, like a space station in space and there's been work done on it. It just means that they filled it that way because they weren't able to film it effectively in space and they needed something to show sort of, you know, give people to show them like this is what we're doing out there. You know what I mean? Let people in yeah. on, on some information. And so it's, it's possible that they faked that video, but those events did happen anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like they just I see sort what of you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. There's a bit of nuance there. All right, let's uh, let's rapid fire a couple more of these vids. Congress, I don't know. Sorry, guy, guy. What do you? Th- but what do you think about that though? What he said that they're trying to well, that was that fake an alien that's the invasion. Tweet. That's the tweet we discussed a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's true. That's that Operation Blue Beam, right? Yeah, so yeah. I I don't know. I, again, like, how do you know anything with this shit? It's just fucking ridiculous. But in saying that, it's interesting to be a mind to lobby and then see whether or not these narratives play out, right? Like, so I'm not going to be like, oh my God, he's right. Okay, I'm going to be like, okay, that's a data point. And slightly <laughs> yeah. interesting because it, it it goes against what I was you know, thinking. And it's like, okay, how does this play out? Like, are we going to see, like, we've definitely seen an uptick in the people in government talking about aliens and UFOs, right? Like, there's definitely an uptick, okay? They're acknowledging now that they... They, there have been unidentified flying objects. There has been strange stuff. And so for years, they've denied that. Now they're starting to confirm that. It's like, okay, why the switch? And so it is, I think it's just interesting to sort of be aware of these things to some degree. But definitely don't devote your whole life to it. I, I think maybe not at this stage. Don't dive in. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics <laughs> came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Interesting. That's that. He, this guy did like another interview where he went through it with um, an Australian guy. I like how he refers to it as biologics. Like, yeah. just say aliens. They're fucking aliens. It's biologics, all right? Relax. He's being, he's being very, very careful with his words or specific with his words. All right, let's get a couple more rapid fire. Any good ones? Is this there? They've all got doors. <laughs> all right. I mean, well, I mean, uh, a lot. That was very low effort. Come yeah, on. I feel yeah, like that right. guy could have put more effort in. I mean, I I get what he's saying, but like, eh, that's whatever. It's not that interesting. By the way, Elon reckons that there aren't aliens because if there were, he would he should know, and apparently he doesn't know. But I also think that like aliens are like this guy thinks he's too funny and too good. We're gonna fucking just keep him out of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes oh, on you, Elon. Look at this one. One of my Zalman approached me, and he kind of had a weird look on his face, and he said to me. Uh, can we go in your office and talk? I brought him into my office, and he says, uh, something really weird happened here yesterday, and, and uh, you weren't here. He said, uh, there's a couple guys in here looking for you. And I said, 
couple guys. What do you mean? And he said, well, um, this is really hard for me to say. He said, but there's a couple really strange looking men that were here. And they kind of freaked everybody out. And they were asking questions about you. And of course, now I'm getting a little bit nervous. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said, well, they were, he goes, I don't know how to describe them except for extremely odd looking. They were really, really tall. He said, and they were identical height. They were the exact same height. They were wearing the exact same clothes and they had the exact same faces, like they were twins. And he said they were wearing black suits, black trench coats. They were wearing like the old fashioned uh, Federal hat. They had extremely, extremely pale skin. And he said they came in and they looked around a little bit and they asked for you. And I said, I'm sorry, he's actually not working today. And it seemed like they didn't believe me. So they started to walk around the hotel. And shortly after they went to the tour desk and he goes, I got busy. I started to have to bring cars around and get luggage. And by the time I came back, they were gone. But he goes, they freaked me out. And I really wanted to tell you that there were these weird guys in here looking for you. So of course, now I'm a little bit skeptical and a little bit freaked out all at the same time. So the first thing I do is I run into my security office because I know how to work the security system and I rewound the cameras. And sure enough, there here comes two gentlemen through the front door looking exactly how he described. Then the next day, I was talking with my uh, tour guest and one of them um, asked to talk to Come me. Come on, buddy, get to the point. In my office, the same as my bellman, and she said, I need to tell you about something that happened. I heard that you heard that there were some men looking for you. And I said, yes. And she said, they asked a few questions about you, and they said strange things that I didn't understand. And they were talking about governments and conspiracies, and none of it made any sense to me. But she goes, they were very, very scary. And I said, well, why were they scary? And she said, they had no facial hair, none. She said they had no eyebrows, no eyelashes, nothing. Their hair looked like they had a wig on, like it was attached to their hat, like it wasn't even real. And she said, and the scariest thing, their <laughs> eyes were so big and so blue that they almost hypnotized me a little bit. And she goes, and you're going to think I'm crazy when I tell you this, but oh. I swear they knew what I was thinking. I swear, and I don't think I'm crazy, but I don't even know how they could do it, and I don't know why I'm even telling you this. She goes, so I started to think about things other than you, and I don't even know if it worked. And she started to cry, and she said one more thing before she left. She said, these men, they didn't blink. Not once did I see them blink. <laughs> That's the weirdest fucking thing. That's super weird. Not blinking is odd AF. Not what? Not blinking. Like, people yeah. that don't blink, sketchy. Yeah, that's true. Dude, if if they were reading my mind, I'd be thinking to myself, yo, are these fucking aliens right now? And they'd be like, yo, this guy knows we're aliens. We gotta bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Or disappear him, or or uh, wipe his memory, zap him. Fuck if so if two if that happens to me, and I, I would just yo, can you guys take me with you? I'd be like yo right away, like yo, I know you guys are aliens. This shit's out in the open, like yo, but, take me with you. Yeah, know you're aliens. Don't panic. I'm not gonna whistle blow, guys. I just want to know a little bit of details. I'm a curious <laughs> yeah, kind of guy. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm an idiot. Don't even worry about it. I'm exactly. an idiot. No one will believe me. Yeah, just give me just some take shit. Just for a cruise. Yeah, just show just me some shit. Just want to experience the G-forces. Yeah, just something. Just give me a little taste, man. Just want to know. Can I? Can you that. bring me on an abduction? I just really want to go on an abduction. <laughs> yo, fuck yeah, yo. Yo, bring your, bring your human to work day for the aliens, guy. Do, <laughs> yeah, bring do a your ride human along. to work day. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Bring your own human to the abduction day. Yeah, uh, you that would be sketchy. I don't know if I'd want to go to that day. Well, we would be the first ones, guy, and then it'd become a thing. 
Like every so often, yeah. you know, a human goes on a ride along and then we get talking, yo, the aliens are actually kind of cool. Like they, they kind of look weird, but as soon as we got on their ship, they offered us some drinks we never had before and we were feeling pretty good. And then, um, I don't really remember, remember anything, but, but yeah, I, from <laughs> what I do remember, it was a really fun time. Um, but yeah, my, my asshole's been kind of like, not the same ever since. Hmm. But anyways, yeah, okay. great time. All right, what if, what if aliens are all around us and the bugs and microbes that are like on our bodies and in our bodies, right, or on the outside of our bodies are aliens. And the reason they probe everybody up the, is because they're trying to talk to the aliens in there. <laughs> or they're trying to save some of them. Yo, I like it, guy. I like it. So, okay, okay. also, just do you see how ridiculous alien explanations are? Because, like, you could just say anything's aliens. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you mean specifically, though? Something that, that you saw in that video? No, I just mean in general. Like, they're um, prophes prophesizing, or, you know, like, there's just no real, like, um, something crazy happens. You're like, yeah, aliens. Like, you know what I mean? You can explain everything with it. Which kind of means like it, that it loses its, its, its explanatory power because you can just be like, yeah, aliens. Like something random happens, aliens. You know what I mean? Ah. And it's just like, oh, okay. It doesn't um, have a lot of explanatory power. Yeah. I, I mean, this could just be a practical joke. It could just be like, yo, let's buy some fucking blue eyes, put on, you know, the, the exact same mask or whatever. The yeah. same clothes. Or just could have been two people. twins with alopecia. I, I'm there you go. sure there you go. in eight, bill, 8 billion people, there's two twins with alopecia that have big blue eyes. There you go. There you go. And this is why I'm doubting it because if he wasn't at work, they would just go to his home. Like if they know who he is, you know what I mean? Like they can yeah. get a hold of him. They would just come back the next day or, or they would just go to where he actually is in that moment. So like I don't understand why they would be coming in like, I don't know, like two guys from the fucking fifties. Doesn't it just it's just a strange event. I I do like though, like you know, I must admit it's a crazy coincidence, guy. But they were wearing black and they looked like men. <laughs> like, yeah, what's with the men in that black? That shit guy? is just that is just crazy. <laughs> so we saw them come in, but they didn't communicate with anybody. There's no video footage of them talking to anybody. They don't need to, guy. They're reading everyone's minds. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, see, I don't know. All this stuff is just crackerjack. It's doubtful just because they're like, they just walk out in the open, talking to other people, asking for somebody. I just don't think that's how aliens would roll. If they needed to communicate with you, they would find a way to isolate you. They would make that happen. Or they just like, send it to your mind like remember we apparently there's that technology exists and why wouldn't they just like straight up talk to you in your sleep or in yeah your... yeah there you, you know go. What I mean? there you go but maybe yeah. there's another group of aliens who have been working to um protect us from that and it's mad hard for them there could be different alien races and they're all going about their business in different ways the men in black well, that apparently we saw there four. guy there you go guy. they belong to a faction I sent you that vid in the chat, so um, apparently this is an interview with an alien. Are you scared of me? You really should be. Okay, so you say you're from the future and an evolutionary descendant of humans. You also say you're a different species. So, which one is it? Are you a descendant of humans or not? Then how do you English? Answer me. If you don't answer, I'll administer another radoscope over you until your system collapses. Do you understand? Now, how do you speak English? 
So you just picked up English, just like that, because you're so smart, right? The extent of you is a dickhead. I feel like I feel like that was a pretty good answer. You're incapable. Maybe we are incapable. Real or fake? I feel like I, I feel like we are though. In general, like I don't think. I mean, not all of us, but what really? If if what could it be that would blow you so like so far away that it would make you go crazy? Like, what can an alien explain to you that would? get you to that level i guess we don't know because we haven't heard what it could be but i don't know i feel like there's nothing that i wouldn't be able to eventually accept uh okay so you are a computationally bounded finite observer right like you have finite time and you have a limited um cognitive capacity or computational capacity right so of course there's going to be shit that we can't understand this, of course, it's going to be shit that we can't comprehend. Like we're not infinite. Um, like, and if space is this, you know, infinity groupoid, or it, it is, you know, infinity of possibilities, well, then it, it, like, you can't understand the totality of that, right? Like, you can only ever like have some sort of um, low resolution representation, but you can't understand it in its totality because it would, you, you know, you'd need to be the universe to do that kind of thing. Why? That's does, what I, I. Yeah. That's the way I interpret that. Yeah. Hey, why does it look like they're in some sort of like dungeon and the aliens like strung up and they're injecting it with scobolamine or something? Yeah, that that's that drug from Colombia you were mentioning or yeah. from South America. Yeah, it, it makes yeah, it takes away all your inhibitions. So if you were to ask if you gave it to an alien, I guess what could possibly happen is they would just start telling you the truth. Each they would just okay. he, answer well, your questions. Why easily. do we expect why do we expect that that works on an alien? Do you no, know what I, I mean, like, exactly. I, I understand in that, but apparently that that alien was a descendant of humans, so maybe we still share some resemblances, and that mechanism still works. I get that. The fact they can't breed with humans anymore—that's interesting. Maybe they've gone so far that they, you know, there's no more compatibility in that regard. Um, yeah. But okay, last thing before we do go close out: Have you heard about this? Um, the uptick in apparently like alien attacks happening in South America. Like Colombia, um, Puerto Rico, um, Venezuela, like a bunch of South American countries. No negative guy. I like, in in terms of being tapped into the the news in Colombia, is is zero for me. All of my shit that I see is American, Canadian, and European uh, shit. To be honest, so I have no idea okay. what's going on in South America at all like i never really see anything to be honest that's like a nothing pops up on my feed either i don't and i don't search for it what about what about you guy have you been here some shit well yeah so apparently um in peru seven foot alien tall attackers are illegal gold mining what um peruvian tribe claims it was attacked by seven foot aliens um so this is just two days old terrified Terrified Peruvian villagers claim they are under attack from seven foot tall aliens. But then there's another group of people saying that it's um, drug gangs pretending to be aliens that are attacking these people. Uh, like, there's <laughs> like a, sorry, it's not there's funny. a New York That's, Post article about sorry, it. It's not funny. Just sounds ridiculous. Um, Peru prosecutor accuses illegal gold mining gangs of posing as seven foot tall aliens to terrorize locals. I don't but know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, in, in terms of that video we just saw, like, I don't think that's a real alien. Like, it doesn't look very, uh, the conversation it is not convincing and the way the video shot is not convincing either. The whole, the whole thing just seems kind of fake, to be honest. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I feel like it's from like a movie or something. Yeah. You know, like an old alien movie. Okay. Last one. Ready? I'll just share this with you. So this is this, um, 
article. Peru prosecutor accuses illegal gold mining gangs of posing as seven foot tall aliens to terrorize locals. That I could believe. That's I agree. That that one actually sounds kind of plausible, like that someone would actually try and, and do something like that. The prosecutors believe the gangs are hoping to invoke fear in locals to keep them inside their homes and away from their illegal gold mines. I can understand that. Interesting. It, it Peru is interesting because when you when you go there, you don't you don't sense danger. I mean, in Lima, you do, like parts of Lima, you do, but outside of Lima, like you don't really sense that there's a lot of gang activity going on um, in Peru, like because traveling between places is is really smooth. Like you don't really you don't really get a feel like there's like they are one of the biggest exporters of cocaine in the world. I think they're number one and number Peru two. Is. Yeah. So oh, wow. All, what's that? I said wow. Yeah, um, Colombia and Peru go back and forth for taking the number one spot. Uh, but there are there are more than three. It's, it's more than like three hundred billion dollar industry for both countries. Whoa! Yeah, it's a big industry for for both of them, and and like it flips back and forth. Like you know, Colombia's number one and Peru's number one. So I don't. I'm not sure who's number one currently. I would assume it's Colombia just because of the new president that was elected here. He seems he's all about the cocaine. He just this some of the decisions he's making just leans to that one of the decisions he made was that if you have plot like a plot of land um and it's not producing something then you're going to get taxed so a lot of people were trying to like sell land or or make it produce something which you know in other words is yo grow some fucking cocaine or you're going to get taxed that's what it sounds like to me whoa and and they do that they do that a lot of people approach farmers and they say yeah you're not making coffee anymore you're going to be making you're going to be producing cocaine now and you're going to pay us this much you know or we're going to pay you this much and you have to pay some sort of like they call it um a vaccine a vacuna la vacuna and like like people just have to pay like a certain percentage of their earnings to the to the local gang really that's interesting like a tax yeah like a tax what were you gonna say Oh, I, I was just fascinated. I said, maybe the aliens just like mad like cocaine. Yeah. Why wouldn't they, dude? Right. Maybe they don't have cocaine back home. Like, yo, like these fucking, you know, we got to take over Peru now because uh, since we got a taste, man, it's, it's fun. These humans know how to have a good time. Maybe the real gate this shit is like uh, a combination between cocaine and gold powder. Yeah. Hence the mines, right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. I have you yeah, know, crazy shit. Alien uh, drugs. Well, I can't. Alien drugs. <laughs> I can't. That's I, I would like to, but I can't. I need to read some more sci-fi. All right. So just as a wrap up, right? You yeah. think like what's prob- like probability or like what's your confidence that this is um, real versus bullshit? Um, what, what I can say is that there, it is, com- it is insane to think that we're alone in this in this galaxy in this universe. That's that's crazy. That there's no way that we're alone. Whether or not there's interdimensional aliens or interdimensional human beings from past civilizations, or there's something more than just us. One hundred percent. I just can't say with confidence what it is, what they're doing, what they want. But there are fucking aliens for sure. Okay, you're for that. Okay. Um, look, I tend to agree. Uh, whether or not they're in our causal history or in our future Lycone, like whether or not like we're causally connected to them or like, you know, like we exist in that same space. I don't know, but I do think outside of that for sure. Like it's just, the universe is just monstrous. Like, yeah, it, 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 it's like, yeah, it's like an, a legit infinity of possibility, so to speak. So I think like, yeah, for can it is happening kind of thing somewhere. Maybe Jesus was an alien. Shut. That's why. That's Damn how we turn water into wine, guy. Jesus, like, yo, I got the magic, bro. I got the you. I perform miracles. You, whatever the fuck you guys want. Maybe he was the first hybrid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, the Romans were scared of him. That's why they killed him. 
or tried to because he was a hybrid. They brought him back like he was able to come back. Anyway, okay, we, we, we digress sorry, again. Sorry, we can't sorry. start this again. We were just wrapping up. All right, sorry, Jesus guy. Louise, man. Come on. Okay, so uh, my probability split is like I'm 50-50 between it. I'm, I'm in the middle, right? Like I think, I think the death, like I think in the universe or an infinite possibility space, like, yeah, lots of shit's going to happen. Whether or not we can interact with that or observe it or detect it, I don't know. But um, there definitely has been an increase in this, in my opinion, um, in the talk about it all, especially from the government and stuff like that. So I think it's interesting times ahead. And um, we've, we've made this episode, we've got a timestamp on it, so we can check back in the future and see how <laughs> stupid or smart we were about our uh, predictions and what we discussed and whether or not any of this comes true or if it all gets found out to be just complete bullshit. Fuck yeah. But yes, keep your wits about you for Operation Bluebeam. Are they going to try and fake an alien invasion? We don't know, but uh, there is talk about it. So I um, hope you have a lovely week, Polska. That was a fun episode. Um, viewers, don't forget to not like and not subscribe to the videos. And have a lovely week, guy. Got All anything right, peace, you want to close out with? Uh, no, that was good. I don't want to digress again, guy. Digress again. Digress, <laughs> digress, whatever it is. Oh, either, there I either am. or. There, there I'm going. Digressing again. All right. Peace. I love, love you, bro. Have peace. a good week. You too.